Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to be discussing Infobox with Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. The Infobox allows you to go ahead and add uh, heading prefixes, headings, descriptions, icons, things of that nature, all using one single widget. Now normally you can do this using multiple widgets, so you would have one for the icon, one for the header, one for the divider, and one for the text. But we can do that all with one widget using the ultimate add-ons. So let's go over here and we're gonna go ahead and search for the info box. And let's go ahead and add that here. Let's go ahead and style this up. So we have the title prefix. So if we enter something in here, we have it appearing below the icon. So we can have that here. Um, this is great if you wanna show um, like your your staff we can do this so we can do so we can do uh owner the title is going to be this the um let's do well, let's do my name so we have owner we have my name we have the description so this will be a little bit about the person and then we have the image and icon settings so there's a lot of different settings here so first off um we have the icon or image, and we have a bunch of different options of where we can put it. Above the heading, below the heading, um, to the left, to the right, and as well as left of the text and the heading, or right of the text and heading. So it kind of gives it like an offset here, so it looks like it's all by itself. And then we can also have it so that it goes underneath like that. Let's go ahead and keep it above the heading for now. The overall alignment for this, you can go left, center, or right. And then we also have a few different options for the image icon or the icon style. So we have normal, circle background, square, rectangle background, and design around. So circle background adds a circle with a radius of 100. Um, and then you can go in and style the background color and the icon differently. Same thing with the square. And then we also have a design your own section. And we'll go ahead and get to that. So normal, let's go ahead and add normal. Now under image type, we have two different options. We can do a photo or we can do an icon. Right now it's set to icon. So this is great if you wanna do a photo. You can load from the, your media library or an external URL, and we can go ahead and select an image here. So let's go ahead and select this. And we have this right here. Let's center this up. So we have this, we can control the size of the picture here. In pixels, we can do that. And then we have a different options. So we can do, like I said before, we can do uh, a circle background behind it. We can do a square background, or we can design our own. Designing our own allows us to go down here under the background settings, and we can choose the background size. Uh, the background color. So we want to choose that. And we can also make it so that we have rounded corners or not. So here's a few different options here. Let's do uh, something like this. And then we also have border style if we want to have a border. So let's go ahead and leave it as that. And then we'll go to our separator. So right now the separator is not showing, but if you go back here, you can see that we have our separator. All you have to do is just turn this on and it appears right below. We want this to be solid, and we have a few other options, dashed, dotted, and double. So let's go back to solid, and we're gonna change the color to match our theme. And then we have the thickness, so how do you want this line? You can go all the way down to one, and you can go all the way up to 200. So let's go ahead and leave this at three. And then we have the width. So we can do this in, width, in percentage or pixels by clicking on these two options. And then if we do width, we could do a percentage of the entire screen. I'm sorry, of the entire section. Or if we do pixels, we can do that based on pixels here. So let's go ahead and do 100 pixels here. Our call to action. So we have none right now, but we can have a text button or the entire box. So for text, we can have it say whatever we want, and then we can have a link to wherever we need it to go, and then we can select an icon to show. For the button, it'll add some padding and a background color, 
and you can go ahead and add choose those different options here the text the link your size borders hover animations so you can choose those um, icons and different colors and text that you can edit with this you also have the complete box so this means that the entire box is going to be clickable and will take you to whatever link you put here so let's go ahead and do this and we're going to go ahead and take this to our contact us page So let's go ahead and style this up a little bit more. So underneath of the style section, we have our topography style, which allows us to do our title prefix, the title and the description style. So let's go ahead and change the title color to this pink. And we have our description, which we can also change to a different color if need be. Made that a little bit darker. And we can change the font family on a per element basis. So we have that here, and then we have that here. So we can change different sizes for everything. For the margins, we have a bunch of different options. We have the title margin, prefix, image icon, descriptions, and separators. So right now you can see the default settings. So for the title margin, we have the bottom of it as 10, and if we make that zero, you can see that that goes up. We can also make it so that the prefix margin has a top margin of 10, just to get it away from the picture a little bit. And we can do that. The icon image um, margin, we can leave that default. The description margins and then the separator margins, we can actually change those so they're a little bit different, closer to the, to the text around it. Let's go ahead and duplicate this so that we have four. We can go ahead and quickly change a few of the different items. And from here we can also change the titles so we can do um, different titles and different prefixes for each one this is a very powerful tool and there's so much that you can do with this all in one widget so that way you don't have to use five different widgets to get the look you want because otherwise you would have to do an image you would have to do text Let's see, we would have to do it like this. And then we would also have to do a heading. Divider. And some text. So in order to do that, then we have to go through and style each one. Where if we have this, this allows us to have one widget. So we can just click and drag that if we want to change the, the order of of them as well. We can just easily go ahead and do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We can't wait to see what you guys do with this info box. It's such a powerful tool and we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.